hello there and welcome to this video in this video we're going to be taking a look at a fascinating functionality which is called the scorecard and this can be used within a dashboard or a report where you want to control the output of data in a preset format which is highly visual in nature and you can include charts maps data benchmarks trends line charts and many more all right so this report will follow the same principles as a dashboard would do so this is not for dynamic data sources and data sources where you can actually change the dimension which the user wants to see or change a specific filter this is set in stone as much as you want and this will be updating itself and this is pretty much a dashboard all right so let's get to it I'm here in the Lumina designer and I have a new application for ourselves and this is how the plain application looks like we don't have anything all right the first thing is let's take a look at the data source okay so this is the data source I'm gonna say edit initial view and there you go so this is pretty much our data source so we have country category and year so we have three years it is summarized and we also have a column which is called the percentage contribution of revenue in total you have all these measures so you have gross margin revenue percentage of contribution and then of course quantity sold so if you want to make a measure that is a calculated measure you can go and add a calculation here and percentage is right about here you can also add a rank you can add different averages and so on so very very handy you don't have to go back at the source level and change the data cube you can just do it at your reporting side really nice really nice of course you can bring in more columns here and you can do many other things as you would do to a normal data source all right so much for the data source we're all good now so what we're gonna do is first we're gonna bring in a scorecard functionality okay and we're going to select the depth which we want to give to the scorecard and this depth will be used by the scorecard functionality to create a default scorecard for you based on the underlying data source okay let's see how this happens so scorecard is right about here you can always type scorecard here and let's go you drag and simply drop it here Okay, no problem. Oh, so there you go. Now, of course, you can change the size of this component naturally and things like that. All right, let's just keep it here for now, and then we're gonna change it as we continue the development. Okay, first thing is you have to assign a data source, so that's number one. So, go for it. So there you go this is the data binding here so right now you only have one data source this one so go for it there you go so once you do that you can see that the additional properties will start to populate some information here and of course i made it big so that you can see what's happening below if you want you can always go down and see the other stuff okay let's go back so this is the position or this is where you can actually select the depth of the underlying cube which you want to allow the scorecard to use so right now this is all the way till year so that's a lot of combination so country and then for each country a category and then for each of that combination a year that's going to be a lot of data so we're going to keep it till category which itself is sizable data and what we're going to do is we're going to say generate initial scorecard obviously you don't have to do this you can go column by column this is something which you might want to do when you're beginning to start working with scorecard so as you can see it has created a scorecard for you so you can't see it here and what you can do is you can probably run this and then you can see it on the browser all right so that's the one which we're looking for so this is the default scorecard it has built for you which by itself is pretty good you see that you have the country you have the category 
and you can see that the country has a combination for each of the categories and then you have the other measures.